Hello and welcome to my nail corner. I have a fun mani for today, but first let me tell you what's on my left hand. That is the April Limited Edition color by Double Dip. It is called Daydream. I love it so much, so make sure you snag it. Most people that pass on a limited edition color are regretting it the next month when it's no longer available. And don't forget that Kate25 saves you 25% off at Double Dip for anything on the website anytime. This is Breakfast Cereal by Bombshell Nail Co. I believe I showed you the swatch back when I did an earlier Bombshell video. Maybe? I think I did. Because I knew what I had in mind for that color, so I ordered it up and I am going to get into that mani today. I have three triple D colors out. I have I'm Not What You Pink, which is this white color, and it glows pink. And I'm sorry to tell you that right now the glow version of this color is not available. However, you can just get it as white. Um, but there is a new color coming up, releasing to Triple D, I believe next week. I don't have an exact date, but it is white and it glows blue. I've already worn it. I'm going to pop a picture in here for you guys to see. So if you're wanting a white glow, this is going to be the one. I love it so much. They glowed so bright like flashlights. And then I have Glow Stopper and Glow Up, also by Triple D, and you will see those coming up in a minute here. I love, love, love Glow Dip Powders. If you hadn't heard, if you haven't noticed, I love them. They make me so happy. And my husband thinks I kind of turn into a five-year-old child when I have them on because I'm like waving my fingers around in the dark, but whatever, it makes me happy and I can enjoy my nails at night and during the day. So check those out if you're in the market for some glow dips. These are some great ones. So I am gonna do some basic application here through these three colors, and then I'm going to apply breakfast cereal. So I'm gonna to talk to you about that in a minute. But in the meantime, I do wanna to confess to you that I am way behind schedule. I am recording this voiceover right now. It is 8 p.m. on Tuesday night because I was just busy organizing my new nail desk and was totally distracted and remembered I did not have my upload prepared for the morning. So I had had this pre-recorded, but I hadn't edited and put my voiceover on it yet. And then after I do that, I have to upload it to YouTube and add all the description box things and all the extras. So I'm glad I remembered now and not at midnight, but I'm a little bit out of sorts this week. My husband is out of town. I've been busy with the kids and helping with the grandparents still as we are moving them next week and yeah, just preoccupied. So I wanted to show you guys a real quick look. This is my new nail corner. My husband made that desk from scratch and I love it so much. He put so much time and effort into it and I just love the way it turned out. So uh, since he's been away for a couple of days, I kind of took it on as my project while he's been gone to keep me busy and have been putting my things in place. So it's gonna take me a minute to figure out what best, I don't know, like what the best way is to organize all of my stuff. I'm a little bit scared to count all of my dip powders, but when I was moving them, now this is upstairs and I used to be downstairs, so I had to move all of my stuff upstairs. And as I was moving it, I was just realizing how much stuff I have accumulated over the past four and a half years. And like I said, I'm a little scared to count, but if you guys are interested, maybe I'll put some time and effort into counting while I'm reorganizing. So anyway, I am going to continue on with this basic application and then I'm gonna pop back in in a minute and talk to you some more. So hang in there.
so how cute is that pink and that purple especially the pink i love a hot pink in summertime and i know it's just barely spring but these colors made me feel summer vibes and like 80s vibes and i really enjoyed them so i went ahead and poured out breakfast cereal in the cupcake liner and i'm going to lay my finger upside down flat in that cupcake liner to get those pretty little sprinkles on my nails um, I did the white layer underneath just for the glow factor it wasn't a necessary step so if you do get your hands on this bombshell color it's not necessary to put white down first it's fine without it but I um, like I said wanted a little bit of glow to peek through so I believe I have a discount code for bombshell so make sure you check out the description box for that as well if you are interested in shopping her website and I'm going to continue on with this. My daughter, who turns six next Tuesday, oh, I can't believe my baby's turning six, she loved these nails and wanted the, um, the bombshell breakfast cereal on her nails as well. And it was so cute. Uh, this is the Manny that I had on when I did her one hand and then she was like, no, I want my other hand to be just normal. She's like, just like you, mom. So this was this was the Manny that I referenced last week that she just wanted on one hand. And she said they would be perfect birthday nails because they look like confetti or sprinkles. And I think she had that just right. So I am going to carry on. I'm going to lay my finger upside down in these once and then I'm going to add on some extra little glitter dots to just fill in some gaps to my satisfaction that's super easy to do you guys anytime you want more don't do another dip and like thicken up your nail just add some base and use a toothpick or orange wood stick or whatever you have handy to plop some more of those circle glitters or whatever glitters you're working with on the nail to get it more um dense in areas where you want it that's my recommendation i've definitely on plenty of occasions done another dip to get more um, glitter and regretted it because it just made it too thick and then you end up filing it down and filing into the glitters and so on and so forth how cute are those i just couldn't get over it i love these so much so now you're going to see me add a few extra glitter dots that's my little teeny tiny spoon that i got from um rainbow dips nail bar i think is what they're called can't remember exactly but that was a few videos ago so I will try to put a link for that as well because I know a lot of you guys will spot that cute little spoon and want one for yourself so check out the description box I will link it there so hang in there I'm gonna clear cap these nails and then I will be back with some final thoughts for you guys
All right, so I went ahead and filed and buffed. How cute did these turn out? I love them so much. And I was inspired by a picture I saw a while back around Valentine's Day of something similar that was done with hearts. Um, but I was so excited to put these on my own nails and as soon as I saw breakfast cereal, I knew that's what I wanted to create. So uh, you may have seen that I grabbed a stiff bristled brush to dust off my nails uh, before I activated them. And I just wanted to, to mention that because I don't always do it, but if you use clear dip over like a darker solid i don't find it as pertinent on pastels or that sort of thing but if you're finding that you're getting kind of a speckled look when you're done with your nails and you think it's the clear dip powder i highly recommend after your clear dip using a stiff bristle brush you could just use like a toothbrush or whatever you have extra on hand um, to get rid of any of those extra clear particles so that's before you activate and then once you activate it should really be crystal clear so i am going in with my triple d dip top coat uh, if you haven't seen me apply a dip top coat before and then you're new here welcome and thanks for being here and please consider subscribing and liking this video if you would like to see more content like this when applying a dip top coat you need to apply your activator first so after you file and buff your nails and rinse them with water and i recommend a stiff bristled brush to just get off any dust then you need to activate again your activator is what is going to cure your top coat dip top coat does not need a uv or led lamp to cure it needs activator but you don't want that activator getting in your dip top coat so just as you saw me do here you apply your first coat in two to three quick swipes over the nail and then wipe your brush off before you put it back into your bottle and then go on to the next nail then you need to go back for a second coat dip top coat has to apply in two coats not one not three two coats it's a an exact science I'm not a scientist I don't know how it works but I know how to make my nails shiny and this is how it works your second coat can be done more slowly a little bit more thoroughly get around to your sidewalls and your cuticle line and cap the free edge if you want a long-lasting nanny and then again wipe that brush off before you go back into the jar so first coat two to three quick swipes and then second coat nice and thorough smooth coverage not too thick but not too thin either so you'll find the right balance but following these directions should give you a beautiful glossy top coat and if you're in the market for some good liquids triple d comes highly recommended from many many people including myself so they have a great quality set of liquids they have to be purchased in the set of three so you will get dip base activator and dip top or if you're a gel top kind of person you can get the set with dip base activator and then your gel base and top coat to finish off your mani now i am going to finish this up with my favorite step which is my candy skincare cuticle oil this is the scent called royal treatment and it is only available for purchase through mani boss dip powder it was a collaboration and it smells kind of like fruity pebbles so i thought it was the perfect candy skincare choice for my breakfast cereal nails it's a really great scent and if you haven't purchased from Manny Boss, I highly recommend checking them out and while you're at it throw some cuticle candy in your cart so this is how the Manny turned out I loved it so much and now I will show you the glow so I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope you guys have a great week ahead and my next video is going to be a highly requested video on filing and shaping so stay tuned for that on Saturday and I will see you guys in my next vid. Bye now.